so continuing from the previous lecture students uh, what we have to do is we have to find out the numerator and the denominator i have written down these expressions once again because it is just a duplication of the effort right you know it was already present in the previous slide so i sort of wrote it down beforehand so what we have to do is we have to apply the bayes theorem and find out the numerator and denominator and this can be carried out in closed form unfortunately that's not the case for a lot of problems which we'll see later or it becomes very difficult but in this case fortunately we can show how it works so this integral has to be evaluated right so in order to do that what i will do is i'm box putting a box here and substituting alpha plus m into lambda as uh, z so d lambda is equal to dz by alpha plus m and lambda to the power n that is equal to z to the power n divided by alpha plus m to the power n so these if these substitutions are kept in mind then this integral simplifies to alpha over alpha plus m to the power n plus 1 okay why because this gets substituted so this alpha plus n to the power n gets multiplied by alpha plus m right so you're just substituting so this becomes z to the power n into e to the power minus z and this d lambda becomes dz we have just made the substitutions and did nothing else right so after making the substitutions it is clear that we can identify this integral as something called the gamma function no the gamma function right so the definition so according to which we can write that z to the power n into e to the power minus z dz is basically factorial of n right so what can we write here we can write this as alpha into factorial n divided by alpha plus m to the power n plus 1 now the story is not over yet we have just evaluated the denominator so now putting all these things back so what does uh, this numerator by denominator become i'll still try to box it but i'll use a different color so this black color is sometimes injurious to this white board because it sort of puts stains uh, what we can write is f lambda given data is basically putting it all together so this is alpha into lambda to the power n into e to the power minus alpha plus m lambda divided by alpha into factorial n this has to be divided by alpha plus m to the power n plus 1 slightly messy looking expression but it's fine so what what is important to know is this alpha and this alpha cancels out so we can write it down as lambda to the power n into alpha plus m 
to the power n plus 1 right and this goes up the factorial n remains in the denominator multiplied by e to the power minus alpha plus a sorry I have to use some part into e to the power minus alpha plus m to the power sorry into lambda right so check this let us check this again numerator is alpha into lambda to the power n into e to the power alpha plus m lambda which is perfectly fine because lambda to the power n into e to the power alpha n minus alpha plus m a, m into lambda it stays in the numerator and the denominator has alpha into factorial n into alpha plus m to the power n plus 1 so this alpha and this alpha cancels out so it alpha goes out of the picture and what remains is lambda to the power n into alpha plus m to the power n plus 1 because this guy now goes to the top and the factorial n it stays in the bottom right so this is the expression for the posterior density function of lambda this is what the Bayes rule or the Bayes theorem gives us as you can see it is a pretty messy looking expression and looking at this expression it is not ob obvious that what advantage Bayes rule or Bayes theorem or Bayesian estimation gives us but for that to see we have to I have to explain take you to the next lecture or next slides where I will be able to make an estimate of lambda based on this posterior density.